Hey everybody, it's Dr. Quad. The Doctor is in. Welcome back to what could be the last episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm not sure. I thought the one before this was going to be last, but we're all right. We're going to go to. We'll talk to um, Randy over here. See what's going on? We can't have another section. Good day. Talk to Thyra. Who the hell is Thyra? Hampton Shire has fallen. And with it, the kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. Yeah, we've got way too much to do. We've got still that whole Bassam thing going on. We've got, like, oh gosh. You have pacified all of England, but you have not yet seen all the wonders of this world. Explore further. Oh great, what? That cannot be. The, complete the Aiden Conch. England, Norway, and beyond. Alright, um... Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, so who is Thyra? Took me a while to get on there. Who is Thyra? Oh, this is the Yuletide stuff. So what about the... Oh, gosh. Alright, it was this one I needed to find. Because we still don't know who this is with the order. We have no quests left. Continue the story. Alright, let's see this. Where's Abernathy thingy? Uh, this is our closest um, sink point. Get away from Mr. Bear. Ah, oh, we'll take the road. Wow, it's like the first time in uh, ages it's going the right way. So the quest is done. England's pacified. Whatever pacified means. Watch out. We still have an order, the main guy to get, like, from the order. I still say there's going to be some kind of, um... It's got to be some kind of betrayal of some sort. See, that would have been a great episode to end on. Not episode, just part of the story. By realizing, hey, we liberal, we uh, 
pacified England, but so much was lost. But no, nope. gotta keep it going. Because we still have to tie it. I mean, it can't just end open ended with bass in it. Like, that's not going to be acceptable. <laughs> Oh, we're in like poison water. Alright, who are you? Alright there? Yes, hello. I, I do not mean to intrude, but I am looking for someone. And who would that be then? I... I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here if you like. Thank you. And this quest doesn't come about until you've defeated everybody. Ooh, that's a great shot. I like that. Soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do. I enjoy them. They're the small offered. things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter? Do I baste them? No need, love. We leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then. I'll leave you to this. If you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember, you even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? You look well, Eivor. I am. The wars have ended. And my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable? I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning, I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I have traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Otis Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master. And I loathed them. With Goodwin I set a plan in motion to destroy the order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? 
You have a good year. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You are the last of her kings. And yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored. Nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish. And all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. What an interesting man. Like, just... It's all over the map. You gonna chuck the key into the water? Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study. Somewhere in Manchester. Oh dear, oh dear. Look at them, little balls of soot. Good lady, forgive me. I was lost in thought. No matter. Just let him cool and we'll begin again. Direct me and I will obey. All right, we'll go back to camp. God, the sun is like annoying right in my head. Fast travel is unavailable. Come on. It's unavailable. All right, now we should be able to... It's still not available, what the heck? All right, we'll just ride all the way back. So my fear with this game is that it's not gonna end. Like it's just gonna keep going until there is no end. Um. Like there won't be credits and it's over. That's my fear. So we took out, you know, England. Um, we found out Alfred is, or was, the head of the order. And he gave himself up. Reminds me.
So we just have this. Like, this is it. We bring the medallions to Hytham. We still don't know what is going on with Basim. Like, what is up with that? Like, obviously he's Loki, but... Either that or it's the same actor. I don't know. Maybe... Alright, so... While we're riding back, positives to this game. Like, it was... This pheno for next gen is phenomenal. Like, it just shows what it can do. And I don't know who said this map wasn't as big. It's not as big as Greece, but there's a lot in it. So it was almost like... Um, the scale is very different. And then some of the storylines were just incredible. Like, my favorite was, you know, Ivar and... Like, how he betrayed us. I did not see that coming at all. To get what he wanted. Yeah, I didn't see that coming at all. I really liked... It. Oh, and then the, like, the, um... Skill tree. Phenomenal. I love that. I hope they keep something like that. And if you, I wish more games did something like that. But there was just way too many of these little mini side quests. Just way too many. Like, you can't have the game be linear... Well, this is actually kind of cool, like running through the, the, wood, the you know, the fields. Is a, yeah, you can't have the game be too linear because it's, then it's not an open world. In an open world, you can have side quests, but there's just so, there was so many. The game is also a little buggy, like, yeah, we're going to see Hytham. So it is a little buggy, like there's a couple times, most recently was the worst where I had to restart something. Heads up. And some parts of the game they have that no one's ever going to do. Like fishing, you know, whatever. The dice game, cool. But, you know, not anything I'm going to spend my time on. The drinking was fun, though, once I got the hang of it. But I like the idea of the settlement, the, qu the you know, going out to each region. Where there's a mini story arc in each one, I liked it. Liked it, like it. But I f and then, uh, I wasn't really a, th a fan of going to, like, Asgard, but, you know, it's the same with Greece, but that was a DLC, so they really kept it part of the storyline. This game just was so long. Like, if someone recording it, it is long, but, I mean, I've been playing this since, uh, what is it now, March, November? September, January for four months, which is great if you're buying the game, you really get your money's worth. Oh, we're not even like halfway there. But there's some really memorable characters with these, like you've got Soma, you've got Guthrum, you've got, you know, Vili, you've got, you know, Ivar, Uba, like all these people. But, I mean, Sigurd, our brother, like, you never know Folke, even though she was a protagonist. Like, you'd never thought that you'd remember all these people, but... And then in Odyssey, they have the huge battles. In this one, they had the castle sieges, which is just... That was really cool. Yeah, where do they go next? I don't know. Like, it's got to be either modern day or... Japan. It's got to be Japan. The rumor is, is or probably is that it's Japan. Yeah. Alright, come on. We gotta go fast. Let's see if we can... Fast travel now. Oh yeah, we can. You know what I mean? Buggy? Oh, we're almost there. We'll just continue our ride. But some of the free DCL, DC, DL, DCL, DLC they've dropped is just, eh. You know, I mean, River Raids, I'm not really interested. Oh, God, we just killed the cat. Oh, that lady got, like, some... Oh, she got, Got some hops. Yeah, the river raids, the Yule Tide was okay, but then you've got the Equinox, which is the exact same thing. 
No, some of the castles do just... Oh, the healing system. I love that. I like how you don't just auto-generate health. You have to go find it. Very cool. Some of the puzzles were good as well. Not too over the top that they're really difficult, but challenging. You've got the henges or the monoliths. Um, you've got um, the fly agarics. You know, the agaric mushrooms or agaric. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. And then you still have the over the top abilities. So, I mean, it, it, they, it, it's definitely improvement. I know some crit critics didn't think it was as good as Odyssey, but you know, I think it, they just get better all the time. So I think the next one will be even better. I got to my bet is that it's, um, you know, samurais, samurai ninjas. Uh, yeah, probably ninjas. They're more, you know, assassin based. But then where do you go after that? Like what genres left? There's nothing. And this is, you know, Ubisoft, you know, Ubisoft's like biggest, you know, title. Not title, but um, you know, franchise. All right, we're almost at the settlement. And I liked how all the weapons were unique as well. You get away, not fighting. We took over England. You killed it! Die! It did seem like in this one too, each outpost had meaning to it. Whereas in Odyssey, there's just so many that it just didn't matter. And you were just finding weapons that didn't, you know, you just trade in for cash. But this one also had the anomalies, like what is up with that? We found the story, you know, the hidden truth. And I gotta find out before this game's over what the hell Bassam slash Lo Bassam slash Loki is doing. Why are we going past this thing? Yeah. Yeah, you can't stay on autopilot too long and this game just loses it. Yeah, we went right on by it. Like, I'm hoping I talk to Hyphen and then we get some kind of way to tie it in. Yeah. Stay along the beach here. of any river champion not sure what to make of that but you're welcome to ask Eivor Suniva and stranger what brings you to our shores Vaughn and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures they seek to join with Ravenstone if you wish to join us we only ask for hard work and loyalty no need of silver or gold wouldn't say no to it either it is good to meet you Eivor and there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret routes of England's coasts, where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. You seek to share them with us. Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid. Once we repair our ship. I appreciate the offer. And accept it. 
I'm not going on a river raid right now. The river raid dock. And how do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. All right, sweet. We're not ready. All right, this is the other festival. A moment's of your time. Yes, yes, one more. And only what? because you all have such I'll good taste. Now, this one. This huh? one begins. Between you and me, Aver, always thought you'd be a good child. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. Get you married, big guy. What are we doing the festivities? Where's the priest? I am honored to stand before you, Gunner, Bridget, on this bountiful day. To celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade forged in flames that burned as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. <laughs> this up, this up is great. Do you see and no one can understand. And I knew. I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the Perdoichi on future and heen. At the sword Tawaloch in hope, a premonition. On the mount of scrying a foresight, Paratoivi, a sweeping adventure, meeting tea. Reminds me of um. Tiur enoid val demaras, a dean as strong apuratiki, a kvel as he fears, but kalon. That Brad Pitt movie Snatch. That was a guy rich movie. Guy rich movie. Such poetry, oh dear, you make me cry, my love. Where his accent was so thick that you couldn't understand him. Travoid and beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it. With pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I quisk of a Valkalon, adoration I fee than Bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. Alright, see, this stuff's over the top, which is kind of funny, though. But how does uh, bonded in matrimony. Now we drink. How did Sigurd clap? Come on, he's got one hand. Oh. Maid of honor there, maid of honor. Uh oh. He's got those wedding day horn ball things. And 
It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this... ...feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Richard, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Javier, I couldn't be more happy to see Boma. Hope you never too wash and it keeps me sure that he is. Yes, of course. I, uh. As I say, it is wonderful to have you. Gunnar, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. How are the marriage customs in your country, Hytham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. We'll be talking to you in a minute, dude. Volka. I want to thank you for all you've done for me. My visions have lessened of late, and I... Well, I find it hard to explain how different I feel. Grounded. Unified. At peace. That is good to hear, Eivor. Very good to hear. Alvis! I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. He was our original, um... Dunked some heads into an apple. Come on, get in there. Dunk your head, dude. Fall. Oh. No? Pardon me, pardon me. Pardon me. You've been among us for quite some time, Redder. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer. Always searching, never finding. Maybe one day. Yeah, I think Alvis was the original fighter. But if she's or she's eligible now. Randri, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunnar so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read. But I am pleased for him. And for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing. Through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Andvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your friendship. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so. But it is not the love of a wife and her husband. It was not an easy decision. But after we talked with honesty, we embrace more warmly than we have in a great while. I think we will be happy. I hope so. And I am pleased for you. I am pleased for myself. 
Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. What about you? What are you looking for? I have all I need right here. With you. With our people. I'm grateful. So much of our prosperity we owe to you. I hardly know where to begin. You are my truest friend, Ranvi. My right hand. My greatest ally. I give you my word that it will always be so. I'm happiest by your side, and in your company. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Alright, wedding's over. Let's go talk to Hytham. Wrap this baby up. Of course, we get a mastery point for that. That doesn't make much sense. All right, let's go see Hytham. What? That was weird. It just kept panning out, that's odd. Oh, he's wake up in his bed like Paul. Oh, that's it. Let's get festive. Tats. I'll hide them. Give me some news here. Good day to you, Eivor. Here you are, Hytham. The last of the Order's sigils. You will find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did. For they were one and the same. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ was the Grand Magister of the Order of the Ancients. He turned on his own order. Fascinating. Not turned so much as trampled. His devotion to Christ and what he calls a universal order set him against them from the start. With all sincerity, he loathed the title and the duty he had inherited and wished them destroyed. Wonderful. With his abdication, the last stronghold of the Order has been dismantled. All that remain are scraps here and there, and you, Eivor. Now that you have seen our enemy and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome. But to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements is not a life for me. But know this. I would give my life in a moment for those I love and who love me in return. All here. Including you, my friend. 
I understand you well, Eivor. Very well indeed. I have that, to go. That can't be it. There's no, there's no way that's it. That's the codex altogether. Viking for hire. Yeah, so I mean, I had to go look online just to see what the endings were. All these endings. You've got one of the endings when they they sang to us because we were the Jarl. That was one ending. Another one was with Hytham. Of course, we had that ending as well. So they we just kind of had them out of out of order. Look at all these like mayflies and stuff. There are new maps for you, Avar. There can't be new maps. I would like to see what you have in stock. Come back a little later. Haven't got anything right now. That's what I thought. I will see you later, friend. Keep exploring. So, um, I think we are done. Like, do we we got all the endings? Again, I still don't know what's going on with Hype, and we got another protagonist here. Like, but is he the bad guy? He still is going after the order, just in a a different way of doing it. Like he was Loki, I guess, but. Just kind of crazy ending, um, but yeah, we did also have Alfred. Alfred, that was an, that was one of the. So we had the Hytham ending. We have us becoming the Jarl. That was another ending, and then we got the King Alfred ending as well. So, but yeah, this is going to be the end of the series. Like I've been playing this game for four months. Hopefully, you appreciate it. Uh, I know. Just get my thoughts about the game with a grain of thought. Is a grain of thought. Grain of salt. I'm just one dude. That's all it is. Just kind of my thoughts off the cuff as we were riding back to camp. But, um, yeah, if you like this video, if you like this series, hit like, if not dislike. I really appreciate it if you're the one. I know I know, no one followed me the whole, what, 229 episodes? That's just crazy long. I don't think I'll ever have one that long. Ever again. I hope they not. Four months, man. It's a long time. And, yeah, I appreciate every all those who... We're at the beginning, at the end, and those who stopped along the way. So, yeah, you like the video. Hit like if you like the series. Hit like. If not, I just like it's perfectly fine. If, I, um, yeah, I give everything I can to these. I'd upload it twice a day, and just to get it moving, it, it, we would have been doing this forever. If I wasn't, yeah, I, I put everything I've got into these things. So, any support is much appreciated. So,. I'm not sure what I'll be doing from now, you know, after this, but I'll stay tuned to find out. Subscribe for more. Dr. Guad, the doctor's out. Be safe.